guys, Double Wide Six, and uh, I have this X Mark mower out here, and um, it's not really abused, it's just used. It's got about a little less than 1,200 hours, and we're just going to go through this thing and just give it a good spring cleaning. There's a lot of dirt on it, I think it'll clean up pretty well. So, you can just see that there's basically dirt on it, it's not rust or anything. It's in good shape. The uh, tanks have like, you know, kind of like dirt around them. We're going to show you some tips for cleaning that off. We're going to clean up the uh, wheels a little bit and uh, just get everything looking good. The engine looks good, runs really nicely. Um, the uh, motor you can see that there's uh you know some caked on oil and dust in that and uh we're just going to clean that off i can see the uh oil cooler fins are a little bit clogged up so this is the type of stuff that we're trying to address you can see how the block has a little bit of a build up on here behind the starter so i'm just trying to give you a little bit of a overview before we start and uh, I'm hoping that this dirt will come off these tanks and uh, this thing will look all right. Um, so we'll show you what it looks like. I already uh, sewed up the arm on the seat where I had a rip. I'm still kind of working on that. And I'm in the process of redoing the uh, grip tape on this. So the first step before I use any soap or anything, I'm just going to give this thing a hot water wash with the hose. I have a fuel gauge here on top of the tank that was, it's all yellowish gray, but I can see a little bit of the red where the needle is. And just like a car's headlight, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, scratch out on here and clean it with a polish and see if I can't clean it up. So just gonna use a toothbrush try and scrub this in a little bit. I did the uh, right side of the machine and it came out pretty good. I didn't put any paint or anything on it. I don't really like to do that. Um, but things are looking good. The uh, gas tank cleaned up pretty well. There's some paint overspray on here that I couldn't get. And uh, I was able to clean up the fuel gauge good enough that now I can uh, actually read it. And uh, I just used a little bit of uh, buffing compound to get that cleaned up. The wheels look good. And the engine on this side, as you can see, that cleaned up real easy. Uh, things are looking good. We're going to go over to the other side. And you can see, hopefully, how dirty the gas tank is and I'll show you basically what I did to uh, clean up some of this stuff uh, once again um, I'm not sure if there's paint over spray on this side or what but we'll try and clean that up and you can see how um, the deck and the caster is pretty dirty on this side so uh, we'll show you how to clean that up what I've been doing so I have a bucket and in the bucket I just have a couple brushes and there's some dawn on there and I'm just putting a little bit of soap on everything and this thing's probably never been cleaned so just trying to brush on some soap and then I'm taking a a stiffer brush and just giving it a, a good good cleaning trying to knock off any grease or grass you can see there's a dent in the deck here it's not really affecting anything so I'm just gonna leave it alone I would 
heat it up, but I don't want to screw up the paint. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't look terrible either. The gas tank is going to be the exact same process. There's a lot of dirt on this. Well, now that everything's soaked up, we're going to give it a power wash. And I had my uh, power washer out in the shed. And um, we had a warm winter, but we did have some cold days, 5 degrees for a few days. I know my pool was frozen rock hard. So, um, you know, I winterized this thing last year. And uh, right now we're proving that the winterization works quite well. Soapy water and Scotch Bright pads. This seems to do a really good job, and it's, it's pretty disgusting how dirty that seed is. I usually buy these things in bulk. Well, it's probably been sitting maybe about an hour and a half, and uh, I went through and rinsed off my truck. The thing had salt all over it since I had the uh, hose out. We got about 16 inches of snow here. And, uh, you know, I was plowing and all that. So, um, anyhow, we have this thing uh, looking pretty good. I'll just give you guys a quick walk around. It's not brand new. I believe this tractor is about uh, 2006 or so. Um, I'm missing the covers for the deck right there, belt cover and the guard over here. That deck cover I'm missing. So if anyone out there has those, I've been looking for them. I can't find them, at least used, and I'm not going to pay like $80 for each one to get them new so if anyone has those and is interested in selling them you can send me a message the wheels shined up nice the tank got clean this one got completely clean really looks good the engine cleaned up where that oil was I didn't spray around the carburetor I just kind of let that go uh, I sprayed this off in here trying to be careful not to hit the starter and then uh, I let the uh, tractor dry it's still drying actually before I even try and start it so anyhow I'm double wide six hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a good day